Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and today is Sunday. And hey, that means it's time for our mailbox clean out, week number 48. Uh, so yeah, it's been a long time we've been doing these, and if you've been following them, then you already know the competition is over. Trading Smog won. The whole thing was to actually see which one would actually hit 10 million first. Transmog did it a while back. I should have wrote down the actual week. <laughs> it's actually, uh, uh, that will kind of been good, but you know, they're already up to like 11.5 million. Uh, so yeah, they've, they've been way above that and they actually just made like 500,000, uh, alone just last week. But, uh, anyway, guys, I'm really excited to get into this one. Cause I, you know, I do try not to look in the mailbox. I've mentioned that before in these, but Sometimes you just can't help but notice some things, and I do know there is some good stuff in the mailbox uh, today. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, I still haven't seen it all. I haven't uh, like seen totals. Plus, I still you know had to clean everything out today before I did the recording. Uh, so there's some things that may have already sold that I won't be aware of. Because uh, I do like to be surprised with you guys too. You know, as kind of like I'm viewing this as I'm recording it for you guys. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> Also, real quick, before I get into the video, don't forget, you have basically until Monday at midnight, uh, my time. Uh, I, I might not do it exactly at midnight, uh, but basically, as soon as I get up on Tuesday, I'm going to be checking to see who is actually put in for the uh, Shadowlands giveaway. Uh, if you don't know, I did a video back on the 17th, uh, for and I, it was my one year anniversary with YouTube. So I want to give away the heroic version of Shadowlands, which is the one that gives you the boost. Uh, so make sure you go check that out. See how to get entered in. Uh, because you basically have, like I said, until I get up Tuesday morning. Because then I'm going to pick that winner. Uh, so don't miss out on your chance to get Shadowlands if you haven't already. Plus to get your, you know, 120 boost. Um, but with that being said, guys, let me go ahead and end this uh, introduction. And let's get into the video and see just how much gold we made. And if we can break that 1 million gold. All right, guys, so here we are. We're on our first bank alt, and this is for Low Value Transmog uh, on Alliance. Now, the last video kind of took a little bit long and a lot longer than I normally like to. I don't want to, like, you know, train you guys to try to watch these. So uh, I will try to probably go through them a little bit faster unless something really jumps out uh, <laughs> because we do have the extra realm to go through now. Uh, and eventually, we're going to actually have another realm because I'm working on another one for the Horde side. Uh, or eventually I might just break up the the cleanouts or something. I'm gonna do something I don't want you guys just oh my god, baby powder get through it. Uh, so <laughs> let me go ahead and open this one up And we got 61 sales at 55,830 gold uh, So yeah Looking you know, I mean that's not bad overall if I could just get like 30,000 with all the groups Maybe a little bit more once I start getting some low-value stuff on the other uh, bank alts uh, But for right now, you know, that's good uh, we got a brain hacker for over 6,000. Pretty good there. Ex executioners. <laughs> cannot pronounce stuff today. Uh, cleaver for over 4,000 gold. And, uh, these legs and cloak. One's over 4,000 for the cloak and 3,000 for the legs. And that's pretty much it. A couple over, you know, 3,000. Uh, there's another one over 3,000. A couple over 1,000. A couple over 2,000. But just low value stuff. Uh, I mean some even really low stuff, but it all adds up, you know, this is just stuff like right before I'm about to vendor it uh, So let me go ahead and jot this down. We'll clear it out uh, and go ahead and head to the next one All right guys, so we're on our first horde group and this is the one the uh, old potatoes used to contribute to <laughs> We got more potatoes now, but anyway, uh, so this is that group uh, And we're doing the low value stuff. So it still goes in the, the same order and then we add the new groups at the end uh, We're only gonna do one new group for right now. because I'm definitely not ready to show you the other one yet uh, but anyway, uh, this is what we got here. 40 cells. And sorry, also, too, I didn't mention, uh, but uh, I didn't realize till right at the end of recording the last one and I'd already cleared everything out. I was kind of covering up this corner with my face. <laughs> so I got it fixed now. As you can see here, you can see everything. Uh, so I do apologize about that. But here we go. We got 40 cells, 37,509 gold. Again, really good for low value stuff. Um, some really cheap ones here. <laughs> we uh, sold a rock feather longbow. So that came from that uh, farm that we actually did. Actually, let me go ahead. I think I featured it uh, last time in a video or something. But let me go ahead and put that up at the top of the screen. Uh, again, that is for the wild token give Or not the wild token giveaway. But the uh, Shadowlands giveaway. 
that is my uh one year anniversary video uh that's where i got that from that came from those uh venture company ruffians out there in uh um in uh Sholazar basin sorry <laughs> it's like right on the top of my tongue or head or whatever you want to call it uh so anyway yeah so we got the rock feather uh longbow there for 6092 gold uh alabaster plate greaves over 5000 and then thristle fur uh robe for over 6000 uh so actually a little less sales and so a little less value but at the same time some really nice sales with this group actually even though like i said maybe a little less but actually we were farming still farming a lot more uh th this past week with our alliance group I've, I've been trying to get back to the farm with the horde to kind of help restock some things but we've mostly been farming with the alliance trying to work on getting that group stocked up so anyway still really good thirty-seven thousand. i'll add it in uh we'll switch to the next one like i said i am trying to get through these so uh, i've been, already been taking a little bit longer than i wanted to all right guys so we're on our next horde group uh bait two which is for right now our last one uh it was our last one for the longest time so let's go ahead and take a look here we've got 22 cells uh 19,706 gold so i'll take it not bad especially for this realm as we know kind of struggle sometimes with selling stuff on this realm as far as transmog goes materials have actually uh, been pretty good on this realm most times uh but anyway uh we got a couple or one over a thousand here one over two thousand iron hide piece uh right there uh let's see alabaster breastplate over five another uh oh, ceremonial leather harness over two thousand okay it comes from the loin cloth farms and stuff the essence of undeath breath of wind those kind of things uh hit, hit hunters uh slippers so those for over three thousand so pretty good there uh and a uh, wolf riders leggings for over a thousand so skin just low value stuff i'll take and uh clean this out add it up uh and we will switch to our last one now that we got one more all right guys so this is the last one for the low value stuff then we'll switch over to the high value stuff which contains all the exciting pieces of transmog that we see sell but they do get added in together this is just kind of you know showing you how much these little items that you might decide to throw away sometimes might actually bring you uh so it's kind of good to see that sometimes um but anyway let's go and take a look here so we got two sales at 12 1290 now that's okay though uh which actually i have been pretty much posted on this low value bank alt pretty much every day i might miss like one day uh but it's so fast because they really don't have anything yet <laughs> i mean even though i've done a lot of farms i have uh still i'm only doing it with three because i just added on to my old five man group uh even though i am actually using one of their tunes as my main so they're getting majority of the loot at least um but still it's still not enough to kind of see those sales every single day as uh pretty much anybody will tell you if they're you know selling transmog you need to have like you know like at least a thousand different pieces of different pieces of transmog to see those sales like every day kind of thing and we haven't got there you know <laughs> that's why i'm able to post on these every single day to try to see if maybe i can just snag something or sell something um pretty much uh, but anyway so we got two sales so still not bad with it being a new group and we haven't stocked it up yet uh crystal paul shield only 100 some gold and i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that but legs uh for over a thousand gold uh bring us to 1290 so just in low value and that's not even concerning the other group i've just started um that is going to bring us to 114,335 gold just in low value transmog i think that's really good uh like i said we'll still add the high value stuff in here and that is where the exciting sales are where we usually see the high amounts if we're lucky <laughs> we have actually not really seen that many sometimes uh but let's go ahead and uh, switch over to our first one for that now all right guys so here we are now for the exciting items the high value transports we can go back through that rotation alliance horde horde alliance and let's go ahead and take a look at our first group here We've got 17 sales at 239,458 gold. Uh, so yeah, Transmog is really, really doing good this week. Uh, let's see what we sold here. So we sold Exalted Harness for almost 5,000. Pretty good there. Definitely got a ton of those. <laughs> we got a whole guild bank almost full of just Exalted Harnesses uh, from when I, back, way back when I did that 10 hour farm for uh, Solithus. Plus I've still been doing more of Solithus, so I've been getting more. 
I actually had to vendor off some of them actually just to get rid of them. Uh, but anyway, glorious legs. Uh, we have those at 71,250 gold. Once again, I had to bring the price down to actually get them to move because I was sitting on nine of them. <laughs> so I'm okay with that because they weren't going anywhere. Uh, you know, yeah, somebody was trying to post them for around 200,000 gold, but uh, 70,000 is better than zero. So <laughs> that's the way I kind of look at it. Yeah, it doesn't mean you necessarily right off the bat need to try to kill the market uh, on the glorious legs. Uh, to see whether or not you can get rid of them uh if they're not you know if they don't sell you know a couple weeks or even a month for you i mean i've been trying for it's been a few few weeks <laughs> now so uh and the most even when i've just been posting behind people the most i've ever sold them for on this realm was like ninety thousand gold so still that's not bad about twenty thousand what i would normally get uh twenty thousand less that's, i'm okay with that uh anyway boblet's uh bouncing harbuck Almost 5,000. Uh, Plans for Dirge, over, almost 5,000. Hellslayer's Battle Axe, 6,000 gold. Uh, Exalted Harness, once again. This time, though, for over 8,000 gold. Pretty nice, okay. Black Velvet Rose for almost 6,000 gold. I'm pretty sure it's better than what we sold it for the last time. <laughs> uh, Jade Pre Breastplate for 9,500. Uh, Jade Legs, over 7,000. And a lot of transmog does seem to sell a lot less it does seem to sell a little bit faster on this realm sometimes that's why you might see more sales on this realm uh sometimes but they sell for a lot less as you may have noticed already uh chance imperial robes for nineteen thousand gold uh aboriginal loincloth over seven thousand gold uh some really low ones here uh then some uh, ceremonial loincloth once again so aboriginal loincloth ceremonial loincloth all those come from that, uh, there's like Essence of Undeath Farm, you know, uh, the Murlocs, the Grey Mist Murlocs, all that stuff. As you see, we keep selling them. Yeah, they don't bring tons of gold, uh, gold like Glorious Lakes and things, but they sell pretty much like every week almost. So, uh, another way you can get them is like running Welling Caverns if you're solo, but I mean, it's a lot better if you can do an open roll farm. You get a lot more. Uh, but anyway, it's still not bad. Ceremonial Leather Loan Cloth, 15,000 gold. Uh, Let's see, an enchant for 1900. Another exalted harness. <laughs> exalted harness was popular. And this one is actually 9,500 gold. So really not bad. And another glorious legs. And this one's actually only at 61,000. So pretty low. But hey, it moved. I got some gold. It's better than zero. <laughs> so I'll take it. 239,000. I'm definitely good with that. And I'm happy to see some of those glorious move. Uh, I still got glorious legs. So. <laughs> I mean, I had, what, nine? I think I've sold, what, four or five? Uh, my other ones actually might be posted up on the auction house. Actually, let me move this over for a second. Uh, yeah, I don't see any in the bags. Actually, I do think I got two Or Actually, nope, there's a pair right there. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I got a pair right there. As you see, some people are actually posting behind me at the, the 70 gold range, uh, possibly as well, because there are six auctions up. And I've probably already been undercut on them. But, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let me go ahead and clear this out, add it in, uh, and we will go ahead and switch to our horde side. And hopefully it's as exciting as this was, uh, or even better. All right, guys. So now we are here on our first horde bank alt for high value transmog. And let's see if it's uh, as good as the Alliance. Uh, four sales, 25,322 gold. So actually this group has seemed to be struggling with, uh, the high value transmog, at least anyway. Uh, they're cleaning up for last uh, week. I don't think it was all that great either. But anyway, let's go and take a look here. So Jade Greaves. So we, we did sell some Jade Boots for over 13000 Uh Some ro a robe here for over 6000 The Camel Haunch. <laughs> I usually get those uh, doing the Volatile Farms uh, for almost 5000 gold. So nice to actually see that sell because I actually been sitting on that for a while now. And a Soul Keeper for under 1000 uh, but everything adds up, uh, so we'll actually go ahead and add that into our total, and we'll switch to our next one and actually hope for some sales there, even though that group used to be the one that used to really let us down, so hopefully there's something there. All right, guys, so our last horde group here for low-value transmog, and this is what we got. Or high-value, sorry, <laughs> which I already did low-value. So we got three sales, so again, not as good. The horde groups are kind of let me down, but then again, like I said, I haven't really farmed on them. Uh... And they don't have, I mean, they do have a decent stock of transmog, but they still don't have the stock like the Alliance group. Like my original Alliance group, like I could probably stop farming on them for 
maybe up to a month at least a couple weeks and still be able to post perfectly fine and probably have sales on them uh at least with the transmog uh maybe even some materials for a while um but the horde group is kind of not exactly at that level uh like most of the stuff is just stuff i have been posting so uh that i've had because i haven't really farmed on them so <laughs> As it kind of shows that maybe I, I do really need to get back out there and farm with my horde group a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, we got a blade of misfortune uh, under a thousand gold. Really kind of low for that one. That one actually usually can sell kind of nice. It's kind of went down compared to what it used to be, but still should be better than that. Staff of Divine Infusion for over 12,000 gold. That's actually really nice to see that that high. Uh, it actually still seems to have a good value when I see the region value, but on most of my realms, it seems like people are posting it really, really low. So I'm kind of actually excited to see it sell for that much. Um, and then a primordial piece, which we usually see some of those sell, um, over 2,000 gold. Uh, it's only vamp bracers, so not too bad, I guess, for bracers uh, on that one. Uh, but like I said, everything adds in, so we'll add that up. And we'll go to our next one. Hopefully, we can have another good sell like we had last week. Where we had that high glorious lake plate sell and we can really rock it with uh transmog um but so we'll go ahead and switch over there now and see if we got anything all right guys so our last group for transmog at least to see where they sit for the whole week uh and it's been looking pretty good at least with the, the first alliance group so hopefully the second alliance group can actually uh do something really good too they actually had a really nice sell one sell really nice last week so let's go ahead and take a look here we got three cells at 29,871 gold, so yeah, not as nice as last week, but hey, you know, you can't expect that every week. It was a big, glorious sale, it was one piece, and I really still have not built up the stock, so that's actually really good, seeing as how many items I'm actually able to post. Now, I do have some really good items posted on here. I mean, I have, like, uh, two Skull Flame Shields, I've got uh, Glorious Legs, I've uh, actually put another pair on there, I've got uh, Vanguard Legs, I've got some really good pieces. And I did actually sell some Vanguard pieces here. So uh, I sold the Vanguard gloves for over 7,000. Really good there. Vanguard breastplate for over 15,000. Pretty good for the breastplate. The breastplate for the Glorious and Vanguard don't sell as good as the actual legs do. <laughs> Not as high of value. Uh, Iron Hide pauldrons uh, sold those for over 7,000 gold. So I'll definitely take that. Excited to see that. Uh, this is definitely going to help, you know, get them in that groove and actually start getting those, you know, items. Uh, so yeah, as we build up stock on this realm, I'm actually hoping to see some really good sales here on this realm. Uh, but anyway, as we add that in, uh, as you see, we are at a pretty nice total. Not as high as last week, but again, we didn't have that big glorious leg plate sale either. Uh, so 424,168 gold. Uh, so it is going to give the other two groups a little bit of a run to try to actually catch up and beat them this week. Uh, but gives them a better chance than they had last week as Transmog actually made over 525,000 gold last week. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, like I said, there is something I've actually seen that's pretty exciting this week <laughs> and we have not seen it yet. So uh, keep watching and let's go ahead and go to the next group. All right, guys, so we're back on the Alliance and we'll go back to this, you know, realm one more time for toys and pets. But this time it's for materials. So let's go ahead and take a look. We've got 103 cells. <laughs> oh man, so we're gonna have to, I'll actually probably just clear out without cutting this time. Uh, it's only three items. Uh, so yeah, we'll try to make it work. Uh, anyway, uh, 357,000, uh, oh, actually just went up. What happened? So <laughs> something, something must've just came from the auction. Okay, so anyway, let's do this over. 100 items. <laughs> at 356,895 gold that is insane <laughs> i mean um actually now we got 104 so something must have just uh just went into the mailbox <laughs> let's see if stuff just keeps rolling in here while i'm actually trying to record uh so uh, okay 104 items 356 895 for the first 100 so we're still gonna have four items in there after this, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. Hopefully nothing else changes <laughs> while I'm trying to go through these. Uh, but anyway, Essence of Water sold 96 of those for 3,000 gold, which actually I'm just kind of happy to see them go because on this round, they're actually not selling and selling for that good of amount usually. Uh, so they've just been taking up a lot of backspace. Uh, 
on other realms they still seem to have their value and actually sell pretty good uh but anyway uh chant elemental four sold one of those for over a thousand gold almost 12 actually getting close to 1200 gold there uh so yeah really really good <laughs> especially as cheap as those are to make a lot of people try to level with that buff so it's a good idea to be making those enchants from panda land um bolts of ever silk cloth get those from doing the volatile farms uh 136 of them uh over 3,000 gold uh actually over 3,500 so not bad at all uh chant chest glory stats three of those for 1400 so not as good as the elemental force but still you know it sells along with it and it, like i said both of them are really cheap to make actually it does actually cost you a little bit more technically to make the glorious stats than it does the elemental force but hey it's still a good idea to make both of them uh it's definitely big profit there uh spirits of harmony 18 of those for 684 uh primal air 107 of those for over 20,000 gold let's go ahead and take a look here uh enchant boots minor speed sold one of those for almost 500 gold a uh, vault of fire 374 of those for 11,729 gold uh so actually that's that's pretty good seeing that you can get a lot of vault of fire uh, i would expect maybe a little bit more um but honestly vault of fire it, you know, like i said you get so many um anyway so let's take a look here fall to water 20 over 2500 pieces for 105,954 gold that is what put us up there uh and actually that one's the one i kind of already saw and i thought was really exciting <laughs> i mean i cannot believe we sold that many vaults of water and it's over a hundred thousand gold that is insane that is just crazy right there seeing as now I can pretty much get uh, even more vault to water because of the fact that I can two by eight it, and it's almost just you know equivalent to doing vault to fire, you know, if not better uh, now with being able to do it, but with you know two four man groups, or actually I do it with a five man and a three man because it's no point to do two by four because you can't tag the mobs in both groups or whatever. Uh, but anyway, it does uh, keep me from having to run, which causes me to kill more mobs, and more mobs equals more loot. So uh there that is <laughs> anyway uh so yeah really excited to see that uh which honestly uh i haven't showcased in a while if you haven't seen the vault of water farm which is done with a five-man group in my video which if you only have a five-man group yeah it's great uh but if you're able to do it an eight man it's even better which i might actually redo that video and actually show you how to do it in an eight man in case you're curious uh and that's what led to me getting so many of these uh but anyway uh i'll put a link up the top of the video go check it out uh definitely good if you can sell this many and get that much off of them uh but anyway guys let's go ahead and take a look here volatile air 722 of those uh for 18,000. not bad uh let's see uh spirits of harmony four uh chant offhand uh actually i need to start trying to get through this a little faster i don't want this video as long as the last one uh, Chant Net, uh, two of those uh, for the Hidden Seder for 8,000 gold. Uh, so really good there for that one. Another one of those ones people like to use for leveling. Uh, Volatile Life, 133 for over 2,000 gold. Uh, let's see, uh, Volta Earth, 2,662 for 22,829. Now I know that's actually more than the Volta Water, but you're not going to expect to get as much for the Earth as you can the Water because uh that's still really good earth is going to sell a lot cheaper and you can get so many more earth than any other uh volatile farm uh, i mean basically you can actually sit there and set your uh, uh a bunch of your potatoes like right in one spot and all of them are just getting the same amount of, uh, of loot almost the same amount as your main so uh it's definitely a lot more uh volatiles than what you would actually get from one of the uh other volatile farms they are more spread out of course uh let's see uh let's go ahead and take a look here if we got anything else uh chant ring a cord of critical strike uh for over four thousand gold almost five thousand um i actually just found those i actually had those just laying around and i wasn't posting them uh so i decided to just go and throw them up and get rid of them um eternal fire 24 of those uh for over 1300 gold uh bolt of Emersilk Cloth, uh, 89 for over 2100. 
And let's see, we got uh, Primal Water. We got 29 of those for over 4,000. Really not bad for only 20, uh, 29 of them. Uh, Eternal Fire, once again, 60 of them for over 3,000. Not bad again. Uh, as you can get so many Eternal Fires in that farm. Uh, Primal Air, 10 of them this time for over 4,000 gold. Uh, let's see, Bold Tourmaline, 500 gold. Now, the one funny thing about that is you just get those off a of vendor. So <laughs> it's really nice to see you buy them for a couple gold off a of vendor. And there you go, 500 gold. Uh, Vault of Water, 804 uh, of those for 45,000. So again, more Vault of Water. And this time it's a smaller stack, but 45,000 gold. So Vault, I mean, that's what... We're getting up to almost 150,000 gold just in Vault of Water this week. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, Vault of Fire, once again, this time 932 of those for 64,000 gold. Fire and water, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, Primal Water, six of them for 976 gold. Vault of Life, uh, which the Vault of Life and stuff, that's all just extra. That's just what I get from doing either Vault of Fire or Water or even Air or even Earth. Uh, because I use the potion of treasure finding, it gives me those little, you know, gives me extras. Um, same with the Inversilt Claw. Uh, Eternal Fire, 34 of those for 2,000. And Primal Mana, 12 of those. Nice to get rid of some of those for 2,600. And that is it for this 100. Uh, another Vault of Water, but only 10 this time for 722 gold. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and clear this out. Uh, <laughs> really, really nice here. I mean, I... I am really pleased with this right here. Uh, like I've, I mean, it's even went up again, didn't it? Three, yeah, we, <laughs> we got another item that got added to the thing here. Uh, it was a bolt of silk cloth, a uh, hundred pieces here, 547 gold just got added. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to clear this out and check these last five before anything else throws off <laughs> this clean out for these materials. Cause if not, stuff's just gonna keep on. And look, look, actually, let me just show you guys this right here. <laughs> just sold. All right, hold on. I got unlocked the window. I thought these are already unlocked. Um, just sold Wild Vine. <laughs> I know it's it's pretty low, actually, only 490 gold, but stuff does usually sell pretty cheap on this round. Wild Vine was actually selling pretty good still, uh, but I guess it has finally went down in value. Uh, but it's not that bad now that I can actually, you know, if I can get another multi boxer to join me, you can hyper spawn it. I actually tried it on stream and actually got to hyper spawn by myself with my eight man team. Um, so I have actually figured out a way to do that and I'll probably do a video on it. It's still going to be more efficient if you can get to at least two more people to join you if you have an eight man team or uh, if you just bring out five and you do two by five like I've done before. That's still probably the best way to go. Uh, so yeah, you can have two friends, get them to join you, uh, do it by yourself or like I said, get another multi box over five to join you and you guys just knock it out. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and, uh, like I said, clear these out before more gets added to it. So we're at 357,433. So let's go ahead and add that in here so I don't lose track of it. Um, and then we'll start clearing this out and we'll try to try to catch what the new stuff is. And I'm just hoping that it doesn't actually, like, uh, go ahead and loot the gold from the new stuff. It shouldn't. It should stop. But I think one time it did loot like one item or something when we tried doing it like this. But hopefully that's not the case this time. And it's just, it looks like it's just some really low stuff. We got some bear tartar, 30 pieces over 285 gold. Ghost mushroom. Uh, it's actually seven items still left. Uh, so actually, was it off? Because 257,349. Okay, so yeah, it still got, it actually didn't, it didn't actually loot one of the items from before. Uh, so let's see, Essence of Water, 57, uh, Bear Tartar, Ghost Mushroom, Enchant Chest, Glorious Stats. Actually, did that just get added to it? Oh, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> we'll just take what we got here. Uh, Let's see, 357, 349. Let's go ahead and put, actually, let's clear this out. Let's make sure it's accurate. Uh, since it is, we're trying to see where everybody stands for the week. So we'll add that in. We'll add the 902. Uh, yeah. So yeah, 358, 
251. That's what I came up with. That's without adding the silver, which that would give us one more gold. So I guess three, 359. Uh, we're not going to worry about the one gold. Whatever. <laughs> 358. It would been 358, 252, I guess. Yeah, we we can we can just do do this. This will be fine. Um, so yeah, not bad at all for uh, just our first group. Uh, so yeah, they're actually already closing in on transmog. So transmog, better watch out because we still got three more groups to go through. So let's go ahead and hit to that first one now. Uh, that first horde group. All right, guys. So we are on our second materials bank all, and this is again the first horde one. And let's go ahead and take a look. <laughs> now, if this one has cells. I really doubt it's going. These two horde groups are going to have any cells anywhere near what the alliance just did because I have actually been doing a lot of extra farming on the alliance groups because I've been trying to stock up, like I said, that new realm. Uh, so I've really kind of been putting them on the back burner. So they're really just kind of selling what little stuff they've actually. I mean, I did think I, I did like one primal fire farm or something with them as far as materials go. Uh, and I did primal mana last night, I think. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they've gotten a couple of things here and there, but nowhere near what they would need normally during the week to kind of stock up stock up materials. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, we've got 28 cells at 22,424 gold. So yeah, once again, nowhere near uh, what the other group had, but again, not bad since I haven't really farmed on them that much uh, in like the past two weeks actually. So. Uh, that's what's really hurting it, it'd be okay if i skipped like one week maybe but it, now it's been like about two weeks i haven't really farmed on them until like this last minute like you know last night and like i think the day before or something um so anyway we sold some bear tartar actually 144 pieces of bear tartar for almost 1500 gold that is awesome i mean it's just you know you get so many uh bear flanks uh doing that farm for like 30 minutes uh if you even decide to do it for 30 minutes and then, you know, uh, it costs like nothing to make them. So <laughs> that's just awesome profit right there. Uh, I mean, I know it seems like a small amount and it's 144 of them, but really does not take much and it doesn't take long to farm it. So I'll take that. It's really good actually in my eyes. Uh, Eternal Fire, 66 of those for 3,100 gold. Uh, Bolt of Frostweave, 105 of those for 1,500 gold. Uh... Let's see, uh, Primal Fire, 14 of those for over 4,000. Uh, not bad for only uh, 14 of them. Uh, another stack of Primal Fire, five stack. This time, really small stack, 1,500 gold. Uh, then <laughs> another small stack of Primal Fire. So good thing I farmed that again, uh, 1,500 gold. Uh, Eternal Fire, 12 of those for 1,300. Um, and yeah, really not bad at all. Uh, elemental air and uh, bolts of silk cloth, actually. Almost 400 bolts of silk cloth for almost 3,000 gold. Really nice there. Uh, so not bad value for what we sold. Like, you know, we had over 100 cells on the last one. And then, you know, we only had 28 here. So I'll definitely take that. Uh, let me go ahead and clear that out. Add it into what we got from our alliance group. And let's go ahead and switch over to our next one. All right, guys. So we are on our last uh, horde bank tune for... Uh, materials then we have one more alliance one which we're really not gonna expect too much from both of these really <laughs> but let's go ahead and take a look here uh take a second to load up here here we go 23 cells uh actually not too bad 61,974 gold basically 62 still definitely actually better than the other group uh so <laughs> maybe not the mock cells but they did better with the materials uh so yeah eternal water of uh, over four thousand gold uh for 65 of them eternal fire 75 for uh almost three thousand gold uh let's see primal mana six of those for two thousand over two thousand gold that's actually pretty good <laughs> seeing that you can get a lot of primal mana actually doing that farm uh eternal water 10 of those 675 primal fire five of those for almost two thousand um let's see succulent clam meat 197 of those oh, only 178 gold but still pretty neat to see that clam meat sell like that uh golden pearl sold three of those 285 essence of undeath sold 91 of them for 2335 gold so essence of death does actually sell on some realms and sell for a decent value that's not bad at all 91 of those for 2335 gold uh eternal water 20 of those for almost 1500 
uh primal mana once again 92 of them this time 30 almost 35,000 gold that is awesome <laughs> that is awesome uh, i mean i can get uh i think i can get over 100 primal mana on just my main even in a five man group uh yeah so that's really good uh, for the primal mana um let's see uh frostweave cloth uh 363 Again, I haven't built a tailor on this ROM yet, so it's just the cloth. Uh, so not too bad for just the cloth, not spending into bolts, 210 gold. Uh, and that's pretty much, or actually we have another Primal Fire Cell 44 for over 8,000 gold. So not bad at all. We'll add this in and we'll switch that last one and see if they got anything over there for us to add to this group. All right, guys, so we are on our last group for materials before we switch over to toys and pets and see if they got anything for us. Uh, and this is what we got so 46 sales at 56,683 gold so actually really nice i mean uh for only being two weeks so far it's pretty good <laughs> in my opinion uh so yeah i mean it's it's a journey to try to you know get all this stuff stocked up start selling it uh and you know honestly with everything combined it's not bad for just our second week especially our first week kind of blew it out of the water like i said with that glorious sale <laughs> That was just amazing. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what we sold here. Uh, a stack of wild vine, 10 of them, for 20,900 gold. So that means they sold for over twenty, uh, over 2,000 gold apiece. So definitely nice after seeing they were selling for lower on the other realm. They're definitely selling for more over here. <laughs> and actually more than I think they sold in the past on that realm, even when they were selling good. Because uh, I still think the highest was around 1,500 gold apiece. Maybe a little bit higher than that. Uh, but yeah, this means they sold for over 2,000. So really nice to see that. Um, Wild Vine is just amazing. Like even if I have some, like in somebody offers or wants to go farm Wild Vine, I don't care. I'll do it. Like if I can get another person to do it with me so I can hyper spawn it and get the most out of that farm. Uh, one, I mean, you get the pets, you get the Wild Vine. Uh, I feel like you can never have enough of that stuff. <laughs> so I'm always down to do uh, the Wild Vine farm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vault of Fire, 488 of those uh, for 8,000 gold. Uh, let's see, Vault of Air, 75 for over 2,000. Not bad for only 75 of them, actually. Uh, Spirits of Harmony, 23 of those for over 1,000. Uh, Primal Water, 115 of those for over 8,000 gold. Actually, that's, that's pretty pretty good. Uh, Primal Shadow, 250. Oh my god, 251 of those for almost 12,000 gold. Now, that's a lot of primals for 12,000, but at the same time, Primal Shadow, you get more Primal Shadow than you do any other primal. Uh, so that's actually pretty good. Like I know in my five man group, I think when I did the video, I, I had almost 500 primals when I ended it, you know, something like that. I think it was like 400 and something. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see, Ember Silk Cloth. Uh, again, I don't have a tailor on this one because it is a new realm. Uh, definitely, you know, I will probably try to get one on the uh, horde one that I don't have one yet uh, before I even do it on this one. But anyway, Ember Soap Cloth, 252 of those for 1300 Um, And that's it really. Just a bunch of little low because uh, I've actually been doing some of the farms out there in, uh, uh, at the Frostfire Hot Springs. So I got a lot of these, uh, you know, old herbs and stuff to sell and that's what those all come from and that's why you see such small amounts because they only get you know pieces here and there from those little bags for the ooslings uh so yeah definitely not bad for their second week uh and everything I i'm okay with that for uh for sure but let's go ahead and add it in see what we got as you see we actually already made more than we've ever made with materials not even including what this group has and we've already actually beat transmog so we did already beat them uh, so just not even given what these actual new tunes provide uh, It's just so much more beneficial to even your five-man group just having those faster respawns and be able to cover those extra spots uh, With actually eight boxing compared to five boxing Five boxing is still great You can still uh, do these group farms and as you've seen uh, along this path of us doing these openings uh, You can make tons of gold, but just so much more uh, so much better actually if you can actually afford to get those extra three and just you know uh take advantage of having such a big group <laughs> so anyway uh let's go ahead and add this in here and 
see what we got total so right below 500,000 so that is amazing 499,332 gold uh in materials like i said the most they've ever made even without throwing in this uh extra group that we got now uh more than they've ever made in the past as far as materials go uh i think uh the most was actually last time which actually i think we did have this group added in but they definitely didn't have really any materials yet uh so uh yeah uh really looking good on the material front um like I said, I will have to get the horde uh, going again, and actually, hopefully, I can farm on them a little bit more this week. I tried to, like I said, the past couple of days, I've been trying to farm on them some to get them stocked back up because I've kind of ignored them for the past two weeks, really trying to work on uh, the alliance's new realm. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and I'll jot this down. We'll switch over to toys and pets and see if we got any good sales there. And I'm pretty sure, as long as we do, I mean, as long as we don't have like zero sales. Uh, which I'm pretty sure we don't uh, We should break over a million this week. So that's gonna be awesome. All right guys So our last set of bank alts toys and pets hopefully I haven't taken as long as I did last uh, Clean out. I, I've actually tried to shorten it up a little bit There has been some exciting parts where I've kind of had to extend out which I'm kind of doing now by jabbering along But anyway, let's go ahead and try to get through this group Let's go ahead and take a look and hopefully we got over a million with total uh, with everything added together So we got six cells uh, 36,098 gold. So definitely not zero. <laughs> so looking good. Uh, discussing Uzzling, uh, over 7,000 gold. Uh, one of those parrot pets out there in STV actually would hope for more value than that. I think that's the learn one though. Yeah. Cause you'd actually have the parrot cage instead of the, uh, the actual, uh, name of it. Um, uh, the, it would say parrot cage and then the name of the pet. Uh, but again, same amount, uh, 7,599 gold. You know, hey, it's a sell. I'll take it. I uh, do wish that one was actually a little bit higher, especially <laughs> since I don't always have that the greatest luck with those. Uh, as a Welpling, though, 18,000 gold. Definitely take that. Uh, Garden Eye House. They seem to have dropped a little bit, but hey, they're selling. I sold three of them. And I think I need to concentrate on doing my wad rares because I really have since I've been concentrating on uh, the uh, the eight man group so much uh but actually i mean look we still got plenty of the toys uh so i'm surprised we haven't seen any of those sell uh, on this round this week um but yeah not bad uh starting out 36,098. i do actually hope the other groups are a little bit better because uh that is not starting off even quite as well as the other groups if they're gonna try to compete but anyway uh, i'll clear this out jot it down and we'll switch to the next one all right guys so this is our first horde group and hopefully they can actually be better than what they've been with mog and pets i mean mog and materials uh because they've actually kind of been struggling this week anyway and i think last week was kind of bad for them too uh but let's go ahead and take a look here so we've got 12 sales at 119,655 gold i'm pretty sure that puts us over a million for the whole week uh well, I, well wait till the end and i'll total everything up and we'll see but i'm almost certain even with my math skills that's over a million gold um but anyway let's see what we sold here muck breath uh that's uh almost three thousand gold uh so it's those little crocodiles you get from that daily if you can catch it uh up the little crocodiles in the city uh, let's see disgusting oozling i uh, sold no one of those this one is only five thousand gold so actually that one sold better on the alliance realm even though we were kind of kind of thinking stuff was kind of low over there uh, black tabby cat uh sold one of those for over thirty-seven thousand gold which actually i mean i've been trying to really farm those i've like farmed those two times in a row on stream now because i just keep it seems like uh I, i'm not getting <laughs> enough to keep up on the auction houses because you actually i mean there is some auction house uh tunes that are um bank tunes that you guys are not seeing uh because i'm only selling pets all over there uh and everything so because like my leveling group uh there's uh, i do have another one on top of that plus there's uh one for the new horde group that i've started which i will try to show you here soon uh once i actually start building them up i want to build up that alliance group first uh, even though I will be doing, you know, building them up somewhat because I do want to build up my original horde group. <laughs> so I might as well farm on eight if I got them, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, Garn Nighthawk. Actually, the Garn Nighthawk sold better over here for a change. Uh, so they're switching it up. <laughs> it seems like usually it, it was, it's the opposite. Usually the Alliance Realm, which is usually actually low on things but sells faster. 
uh, actually sold for less this time. And look, I mean, tw almost 2,500 gold. That's amazing. Uh, Jade Miss Dancer uh, pet sold that for over almost 3,000 gold. Uh, again, I did that. It's like a 30 minute video. I got like eight of them uh, doing the Thomas Owl pets out there. Crash and Thrash and Roller Controller. Uh, so that is one of the wide rare pets, uh, or not pets, but toys. Uh, almost 3,000 gold. There's the Garden Knight at a low value, actually. And this is what we normally see them at on this realm. 878 gold. Uh, Magical Crawdad. So we sold one of those. And I'll need to go back and get some more of those now, probably. Uh, 38,000 gold. Definitely not as good as it sold on that other realm where I sh showed you guys it was like 90 some thousand gold. Uh, but it's okay. I'll, I'll take it. 38,000. Uh, Emerald Wealthling. Uh, sold that one for 23,000 gold. So actually almost 24,000 gold actually. Uh, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, Crash and Thrash and Roller Controller. Once again, almost 3,000. And another Garden Knight House for 921 gold. Really excited to see that one sell for that much though. <laughs> that actually was pretty exciting. But uh, definitely some good pet sales here. The Crawdad, the Emerald Wealth theme, uh, and the Black Tabby Cat. And you know, 100, almost 120,000 gold. Uh, so looking really good. So I'll go ahead and clear this out and we'll switch to our next horde one before switching to that last alliance one. Alright guys, so we're on our last horde bank alt uh, for, for the toys and pets. Uh, and this is like our last session. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. We got three cells. Uh, 47,299 gold. Not bad for only three cells. Uh, so I'll definitely take it. And they're already looking good with the last group. Uh, Dark Wealth Blade, 3,800 gold. Not bad for that pet as you can get so many in such a little bit of time. As are well playing, uh, almost uh, almost forty three thousand gold. Really nice to see it sell for that much. Uh, that's really good. And then a filthy for only seven hundred forty eight gold, which still uh, it's not bad at all. But you can do that farm for like ten minutes and have a whole bunch. I did it for what uh, thirty minutes, I think it was, in the video I did. And I still have them from when I did it for that video. Uh, I mean, I'm just I've got tons. I don't need to do that farm probably until after shadowlands comes out if i have to even do it at that point and I, I seem to sell some pretty much almost every week uh so anyway let's go ahead and uh we'll clear this out uh add it in and switch to our last group and see exactly uh how much toys and pets made i don't think they're gonna be uh materials <laughs> or transmog definitely not materials this week uh materials just really knocked it out of the park but hopefully they can at least make around what they made uh, last week, if not more with that last clean out. Um, Cause they're actually, they're getting close to it. Uh, actually, they might be over it yet. Uh, my math skills are not there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to that last one so we can go ahead and see what their total is. All right guys, so we're on our last bank tune to see exactly how much we made uh, and everything. <laughs> Even though, like I said, we have made more, which I actually, I think what last week did I provide a bonus. Where I actually did show that horde group's bank tune uh, for the toys and pets because we had like I'm pretty sure because I'm pretty sure we had that magical crawdad for like over ninety thousand on there sold. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> I still do get those sales in, uh, but this is the only ones that count. And we got two uzlings in there because we couldn't collect anymore because of the unlearned ones, uh, which we sold a couple here. So I might have to actually uh, cage some put them up on the auction house and actually learn these but uh but hey this week this group kind of struggled didn't sell any pets so, i mean that's okay it happens right uh plus like i said i've been running out of black tabbies and i might not even have a black tabby up on this realm right now <laughs> so um so yeah I'll, I'll need to get some more of those learn them uh, which i have actually farmed them like the past two streams uh so i will work on that uh, but anyway guys still not bad. This is where we sit. We actually did beat our total last week our last by a little bit Our last week's total was two hundred and one thousand four and thirty five So we beat them by like a beat it by like a couple thousand uh, So still really good uh, Like I said, we still beat that total. So that's amazing uh, And the other groups did amazing as well, and I'm pretty sure yeah I mean we got to be over a million gold by now uh, But let's go ahead and get to the end of the video uh, so I can wrap this up for you guys and you guys can see what all the tools and where everybody is now. All right, guys, I'm not going to add this in, but I did ask this bonus last time, just so, in case you're curious of that realms, like, cause we did have some really good sales uh, on this one. This is the pets on that realm. So uh, for the week, we actually did uh, make almost 90,000 gold, 87,979. 
Biggest one was Sprite Daughter Hatchling at almost 52,000 gold. Uh, probably was before the auction house cut. And then Crimson Wellplane, 13,000. And Disgusting Oozling at uh, 17.5. Uh, and then uh, Dark Wellplane and two Filthlings. So like I said, the Filthlings do sell. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get to the end now. All right, guys. So to conclude the video on the mailbox cleanout week number 48. Uh, see, I'm smiling, guys. Uh, we have materials winning at the most they've ever made, even before we add the new group. Uh, 499,332 gold, uh, which is just outstanding. Uh, and then we have uh, Transmog coming in second at 424,168 gold, which is less than what they made last week, but still really, really good. Uh, then we have uh, Toys and Pets coming in last at 203,052 gold, which is actually a little bit more than what they made last week. So I'll definitely take it. But for our total for the whole week, we did it for over a million gold. 1,126,552 gold for the week. And that's not even considering that one that I kind of showed you as a bonus that uh, with that, you know, we had like 87,000 over there. So adding that in, we'd actually be at 1.2 million gold. Um, and that's, there's still actually two other uh, pet bank calls that I sell pets on. So uh, currently, uh, but anyway, uh, we don't add those in. Still awesome. 1.1 million, uh, a little over that uh for the whole week and we've been reaching for over that 1 million goal for so long so it's nice to see that and like i said actually that is before uh we even add in that new realm so yeah they have provided extra loot uh when we're going out and doing these farms we'll be able to do it with uh eight tunes uh compared to five but as far as actually their sales on the realm i mean if you total up their sales they made zero for pets uh, they made uh, about 30,000 with transmog this week and they only made about 50,000 with materials uh, Maybe a couple extra thousand here or there, but that's still only around 80,000. We're uh, Over 126,000 over a million gold. So uh, Our actual old realms actually provided the the million over a million gold uh, But anyway as far as all the weeks combined uh, we are now sitting uh, with transmog at 11 million 967,198 gold for the whole 48 weeks. Uh, materials is now getting close to that 10 million uh, at 9,132,338 gold. And we have toys and pets in last, uh, but they're catching up as well at 6,980,138 gold. So really not bad for all three groups. Uh, so as far as you know the total that we've actually made with all the groups combined and the whole total amount of gold we've made uh, With at least what I you know have been adding into these cleanouts uh, We have actually made 28 million seven hundred sixty one thousand forty four gold for 48 weeks, which is really really good I think uh, you know uh, that's on average about I'd say about 500,000 a week uh, on average <laughs> you know of course these past three weeks we've been above that uh, I might even be a little above that for average but then again we've had some bad weeks too where we've you know had some weeks where we've only made like 300 and some thousand some other ones where it's been around 400 some thousand uh, some right at the 500,000 range uh, which is I at least like to make 500,000 a week if I can I mean that's where I like to be uh, but definitely love it <laughs> you can make you know this much uh you know especially over a million gold hopefully we can have another one that would be amazing if next week we come back and we have another million gold clean out uh but anyway guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the clean out i definitely did i'm definitely excited to see it finally over a million gold in a week uh and definitely excited to see materials as high as they were i mean they just really really blew out of the park i mean that's that's more than they've ever made uh in any of these clean outs and i think last week was like the first time they ever ever made that much <laughs> now they just you know definitely did a lot more than that even um so anyway yeah if you like the video guys go ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up down below also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss the next clean out we have uh also don't forget to make sure that you uh check out that video i have up there for the shadowlands giveaway you have until i get up tuesday morning and check to see who's entered in because i will pick a winner uh, and then I will announce it on that video that comes out that Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely make sure you check it out. So actually make sure you also hit that notification bell so you uh, make sure you get alerted when that video comes out so you can see whether or not you won that uh, Shadowlands. Uh, also don't forget about the links down below. I have links for uh, 
Twitch, uh, where I'll be streaming tonight and actually giving a WoW token away. I've been giving those away uh, every Sunday. We do a, a what's called a Loot Appraiser Challenge. If you win the Loot Appraiser Challenge and you're doing the same farm we do, uh, then you will actually uh, get the WoW token at the end of the farm. Uh, which there is a panel on my channel if you're curious of how you get that set up uh, or everything that you need in order to do it uh, is listed right there for you. Also, guys, uh, don't forget about Facebook and Twitter. You can follow me on there so you can get alerted when I am going live and also for other things. Uh, and don't forget about the link for Discord. Definitely a great group of people to join. Uh, I'm in there as well, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll help you out with, you know, multi-box problems you might have or any other questions. Or if you want to join us for a farm or just, you know, have somebody to talk to, come, uh, come on in there and join us. But anyway, guys, that's about all I have. This is Baby Powder. Peace. I'm out.